So out here in the two acre food forest slash orchard, um, almost all of the chestnut trees have really, really, really come out. I couldn't be more happier with these chestnut trees. Um, put all these in with a dibbler. I don't have a single loss as far as I can tell. So there were a hundred. These are Chinese chestnut trees. But they're not all the same variety. And they're not named varieties. They're, they're seedlings. So they're not, they're not cultivars. Not technically cultivars, but now this one's a little bit different. These foliage has come out red. For some reason, I mean, it's a different kind, but some of them are red, like that, but most of these are green. There's chokeberry. That's a gooseberry plant we put in. Um, I don't know, this tree's not looking so hot. Might be a pecan. More gooseberry. Uh, I think this is a pecan. It's, I don't know. These are the only ones that haven't really woken up. So this is a false indigo. This is a nitrogen fixer. So it's a support, say support species. That's a uh, elderberry. And there's a lot of elder, elderberries out here. That's a chokeberry. Oh, look at that. The comfrey. The comfrey's really blasted off. I put a. I put a um, crown in here the other day. That's doing well. That's some sweet potato. Another. Um, elderberry, false indigo, gooseberry, oh there's a, I don't know if this is a pecan or not, it's too, this is either a pecan or a, uh, I, I think it's a uh, pawpaw, so that's probably a pecan right there. I just, I don't know, it looks like, it looks viable, feels springy, uh, there's a raspberry, chokeberry, probably a pecan, see this one has some, well, hard to say, now this is a big um, tree that came that, probably an apple, Ben Davis semi dwarf apple. It's the apple we got from Stark Brothers that I didn't even remember ordering. And so we put that out here. Um, here's another new arrival. This is a North Star cherry tree right, right there. Um, right on the ground is some potato coming up. Put a lot of potatoes out here. False indigos have really, really done well. Um, well is really holding a lot of water. And pretty much the same alternating group of trees throughout these berms. Now I know this is a pecan tree. Uh, nothing yet. More potato. So over here, what we put in as ground cover over here is beginning to come up and it was combination of uh, sage 
um, echinacea, bee balm, lemon balm, and yarrow, I think. If there's another one, I can't remember what it is, but hopefully, hopefully this is, this ground cover is what we've seeded. I'm not sure of everything. So, it's kind of a wait and see situation, but I've got some tomatoes we put out here that we just had too many that to that we didn't know what to do with so we stuck these out here and you know they're not killing it but they're not dead so another wait and see uh an apple tree this apple tree is actually gonna bloom surprisingly hard to believe that because I just planted it but it woke up now it wants to bloom let's see what it is it is orange pippin that'd be neat I don't think I've ever even seen an orange pippin it's a gigantic dock some peppers over here that's pecan. That's uh, these pecans. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna stay dormant all season or what. This is a huge pecan, I think. And it definitely looks like it's going to bud out here pretty soon. That's, that's a black walnut. I had a hundred black walnut, but I put those in another place. Because they have the, the uh, allopathic property to them. And I really did not want to interplant those. So here's the little small pond in the same place where the... Uh, where all the swells are at, swells are uphill, pond is downhill, and it's pretty full at the moment, it's also full of frogs, completely full of frogs, 